Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 30th, 2020. Man, it is hard to believe we're coming to the end of July, and we have quite a day set up for us in the market. Yesterday, we saw um, incredible, incredible volatility and chop we just chopped back and forth all over the place and even in light of the fomc announcement where we kept rates the same and nothing really changed um we just had tremendous volatility in price action so what does that mean for today well <laughs> Boy, I got to tell you, today could be anything. So how about we buckle up, let's settle in, and let's prepare for this wild and crazy next 24 hours of the market as we get quite a dump of data. Let's settle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, guys, we have wild and crazy things going on. First off, let's take a look at what we've got going in these charts. Let's take a look. We have got trends holding up. Okay, so we've got trends holding up in the short term. We've got the Dow testing the downtrend um, or trying to test that downtrend and trying to hold this uptrend. So we've got this little wedge pattern in here formed and it's one of those that you just kind of have to question because it's it has that potential from uh, pushing through to the upside or pushing through to the downside. The problem is we have so much data coming our way, there is just a palpable uncertainty in the market. Let's keep in mind that the Dow has tried a couple of times to break through this island reversal that we put in the market in early June, has not been able to do it, but largely we have to give this up to the bulls. They are just not giving up here at all. Bears just don't seem to have any teeth right now to push anything down, and the bulls just hold and hold and hold. So we've been in this consolidating move today, but we may break this dam in the next 24 hours um, with all of the data that we have coming our way. Let's take a look at our moving averages. Our moving averages, as you can see, we're holding above that 200 day moving average, but let's take a look at what we've got going on this morning. Currently, Dow futures are pointing to a gap down of 200 or so points. So we're gapping down here in the Dow. We'll be down here testing that 200 day moving average as support. Let's keep in mind that that 50 day moving average is still rising up. It crossed over the 500 day. So we do have a level of support in our moving averages right in here. And that's gonna be an, an interesting test with all the data that we have coming our way this morning and this afternoon. So let's keep moving on. Let's take a look at the spot. SPY. SPY had a really nice bullish close yesterday. And here's the thing that we're experiencing in this market. We can have these really great entry type candles and then the next day completely reverses that. And that's what we're seeing this morning. As we take a look at the SPY here, um, we broke above that island reversal um, in early June. Broke above and yesterday we had pulled back, broke down, and pushed back up yesterday to hold it as support. Unfortunately, this morning, we're looking at a gap down open. We're gapping down below yesterday's low at the open, at least at the moment. S&P 500 is looking at a full-on overnight reversal here that could trap some folks into long trades and be a little bit uncomfortable this morning. If we look at our moving averages, take that quick look and notice that that 50 day moving average is still rising. We're well above the 200 and we really don't have any major risk here um, in this market. I think unless we break down below here. If we were to break down below here, I would suspect a test of the 50 day moving average would be happening relatively soon. And possibly even a break of that 50 day moving average to come back and test this low in here. We'll have to watch that pretty closely if the bears start to creep in. But there's no evidence of that just yet. Um, we just have that 
uncertainty out there with um, so much data coming our way. Let's take a look at the cues. The NASDAQ held up really well yesterday. Um, you know, we shot up on Monday, we reversed it on Tuesday, we shot back up on Wednesday, and this morning we are reversing it again. So, um, that's what we call nasty chop. And that chop right now is holding a level of support in here on the chart. You can see all that price action right through there that's holding on that trade. So what's going to be critical here is that we continue to hold that. If we happen to fail and drop back down through here, and if we happen to lose this candle here, those bears coming in we will likely see that next level of support and that 50-day moving average come into play on the queues what's going to be interesting here is after the bell today we get a deluge of big tech reports anything is possible in fact friday morning is is really flip a coin and decide which way we're going to go because that's about as uncertain as um, it's going to be um, it's hard to know what happens uh, tomorrow morning let's take a look at this um, iwm now interestingly enough iwm had a really good day yesterday overall and it really caught a lot of energy because there was some rising uh, movement in the financials that kind of picked things up and there was a little bit of pickup in the energy sector as well helping iwm hold up so we had a really nice close yesterday on iwm still below its 500 day moving average as you can see but we're holding in here above that um 200 day moving average so we're doing okay in here uh, but unfortunately this morning we're going to give back a big portion of that um, rally yesterday um, in the gap down so we'll have to see if those bulls uh, fight back if they defend or if those bears come in and really start pushing down with the uncertainty of today so let's take a look uh, at the vix the VIX is just uh, almost, it's kind of a conundrum, honestly. Um, we're, we're pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing for highs, and yet we still can't really break down here in the VIX. We can't really dump off any of this fear. So we're holding in this area. We are still in a short-term downtrend here on that chart. So we're going to watch the, have to watch this close. With this morning's gap down, I'm expecting that we're going to be gapping up back into this area up in here. And so we'll want to watch that closely. If that fear starts to take hold, um, we could get one of those spikes in fear, and that could be a little bit of a problem. Um, uh, implied volatility will be spiking up this morning making um, an interesting situation in anyone for anyone trading options and it could be a little bit challenging in the price action um, depending on how we respond um, after that open so watch that carefully let's take a look at t21 22 and an interesting thing in t2122 is that move back up yesterday brought us right back up here into this potential bearish reversal zone now this morning we're getting this big gap down so i'm guessing we're going to be reversing down here pretty hard how far we go i don't know it all depends on how hard those bears decide to push um, depending on all the data and things that we're going to get this morning. So watch that closely. It was giving us these clues that we were up here pushing those resistance levels and charts with so much uncertainty. But, um, boy, there was, certainly was an attempt to push those on through yesterday uh, to the upside. And then if we take a look at T2101, the absolute breadth indicator. This is kind of interesting here. Um absolute breadth as we continued to rally yesterday really was not showing any strength we were continuing to decline in that absolute breadth indicator now what will be interesting this morning is if we happen to see that market breadth or that 
um, absolute breath kick up based on sh the selling that's coming in this morning. If it kicks up, if we're getting more energy on the short side of the market, that'll be really interesting to pay attention to. So watch that closely on this gap down this morning. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. And here is where we're going to have some interesting things to deal with uh, today. First off, we have at 830 this morning, we've got the GDP number. Now the GDP number is expected to come in at, at, at almost a historic level. It may be historic and we may, uh, we've likely not seen a number like this since, um, World War II. So here we are down, we're looking at a negative 35 on the GDP. Um, I got to tell you, in my trading career, I've never seen that before. So how the market will respond to this, I don't know. And whether or not it's already baked into the market, I don't know. We'll want to watch that closely, though, when that number comes out at 830 uh, this morning. And then also we have jobless claims. And there is some concern, there is some worry that with this second round of coronavirus, the second wave that has really impacted business, out there that we could see jobless claims starting to move higher. Remember, we've got somewhere between 30 and 32 million people unemployed. That is more people than in the worst of the financial crisis of 2008. And the fact that the market is trying to ignore it is pretty astounding to me. If these numbers start to creep up, that could weigh heavily on the market. We'll wanna watch that closely. Of course, if they pull back a little bit, the market will be happy about that and could respond bullishly. So keep a close eye on those numbers today. We also have a natural gas report and Fed balance sheet. I don't expect much of anything happening in there. And then we have a huge day of earnings. Now these earnings, are uh, this morning um, are fast and furious. There's going to be a lot of them, over 250 companies reporting today. Um, you're going to have to really stay on your toes. Lots of things will be moving around, creating considerable volatility today. But the ones I'm going to focus on for the report here today is all going to happen after the bell. Facebook moved its earnings report to Thursday. It was earlier this week. It was looking at Wednesday, but now it's moved to Thursday. So we're going to have Facebook reporting after the bell, Amazon reporting after the bell, Apple reporting, whoops, Apple reporting after the bell, and Google reporting after the bell. Now, if that's not enough to create some anticipation um, or um, some heartburn, I don't know what is. Those big tech companies that have led this market higher are all going to report on the same day. The big question is, can they, in their earnings reports, can they support these current prices? What does that mean for Friday morning? Got to tell you guys, I think it is a coin flip as to what happens Friday morning, whether we just tear off to the upside, uh, bulls absolutely in control, or if we sink and possibly sink hard if they happen to disappoint. So be really, really careful. Be very cognizant of the risk that you're taking into today's close. Anything is possible Friday morning. It could be a very, very volatile market on Friday morning. Um, plan carefully, protect yourself. Remember, uh, just because these big guys are reporting doesn't mean you necessarily have to be in that mix. You can stand aside, wait and see what happens, and then enter the market with a lot more safety and a lot more clarity um, in the trade. So watch that pretty carefully um, as we progress into the close today. It's going to be a wild and crazy one. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube.
and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Yesterday we just went over 13,900 subscribers so we're on our way to 14,000. Maybe if everyone listening right now clicks that subscribe button we can hit that number by the end of the week. Um, that would be awesome. Everyone I want to say thank you very much and if you um, find these videos helpful if you find them useful please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment it helps um, us continue to grow the channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone I got to tell you some of the comments are so humbling I truly truly appreciate it so how about we take a look at some stocks that might be setting up but before I do that I want to remind everyone that even though I'm showing stocks that are in setup patterns anything is possible Friday morning. We're going to have to be really, really careful on this. So I'm going to show you some stock setting up, but please make sure you do your due diligence. And remember, any stock I show in these videos is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. The risk is on you. Make sure you plan and you do the work that you need to do to uh, protect yourself in this wild market. Let's take a look at a couple stocks that were popping around here yesterday. Take a look at Best Buy. Best Buy after gapping up on earnings, as you can see, gapping up through here on earnings, there's really been no interest in selling. And if you can see, I placed an alert across here. I've been watching this trend and my honest hope is that this will just kind of drift on over over toward that trend and I'll be watching and waiting for that opportunity in Best Buy but good chart something you want to put on your list you might want to be keeping a pretty close eye on it because um, it, obviously no one, no one wants to sell it after the earnings report. Let's take a look at X, I mean CLX, Clorox had a nice day yesterday pushing up and it kind of makes some sense. Clorox um, obviously um, has done very, very well. At least we assume it has done very well in its sanitation products um, around coronavirus. So um, moving up and we've had this nice consolidation. We tried breaking out yesterday. So let's keep an eye on that. And let's also remember it's going to report here soon. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about uh, potential trade here. Let's take a look at the financials. All of a sudden yesterday afternoon we got a big surge in the financials. So take a look at this. We've been moving up. We've got these higher lows. I need to adjust my trend uh, line here now as you can see. There we go. That looks better now. And as you can see, breaking through some resistance here in the chart, consolidating that move, and now showing this nice bullish move yesterday. Now, unfortunately, this gap down this morning is going to take most of that away. But if we can hold in this area, those financials might be starting to perk up. We'll have to watch closely to see if they can hold but keep a keep an eye on that some interesting charts starting to show up there also take a look at energy um, energy started to show a little bit of life yesterday perking up into the close and once again we have that same type pattern holding in here where we've made that higher low we're pushing up we're trying to hold some levels of support in the chart unfortunately we are gapping back down this morning so if we can hold those support levels in here, find that find that level where we're going to hold and those bulls push back through, there's still some opportunity here. Watch that one closely. Yeah, obviously, these have the potential to go either direction. So stay on your toes and stay focused on these trades. If you guys remember, I, I've been mentioning uh, Jack in the Box here uh, for some time in the morning. Uh, prep and you can see that has done really really well pushing on through and continuing to extend onto the upside now I wouldn't want to chase this here as a matter of fact I would want to wait for the next rest consolidation for an entry into that trade 
but you might want to have Jack on your um, watch list for a potential trade. Take a look at FCX. Now FCX is kind of a companion, I guess, to gold and silver, and certainly gold and silver have been very, very strong. Copper has been drifting along here, Freeport, has been drifting along in this sideways consolidation after a very nice run. I'm watching this up in this area for that next opportunity for this to pop through. Can't tell you when that's gonna happen, but I wanna watch that pretty closely. Freeport has that opportunity to pop on up in those charts so watch that closely we also want to keep an eye ford is reporting today and we'll want to keep an eye on that that's holding up in a pretty decent pattern here whether they can actually produce an earnings report to push us on up i can't tell you but we'll want to keep an eye on ford also keep an eye on coca-cola coke has been setting up in this pattern nice consolidating move we're getting pressure on this stock this morning but if those bulls do happen to step back in we can still hold on to that pushing back higher so um watch coca-cola closely um Stocks all over the place are in these tight consolidating patterns like restoration hardware that could certainly push itself out. How about Trex? Trex had a really nice move yesterday, pushing up um, in this chart after that breakout. Really nice looking chart. McDonald's continues to potentially set up, pushing up into resistance, pulling back. If it can catch some support, off of the trend here, this has that opportunity to move on higher. And there's just a ton of those companies like that. It's really going to come down what to what happens um, with these big techs. Are we going to maintain this bullishness or are we going to see those bears finally get a chance to eat a little bit um, in this crazy historic rally that we've seen um, in the market? Your guess is as good as mine. I would suggest that you use some extreme caution. I would suggest you stay really focused and on your toes and be very, very careful of over trading this because tomorrow morning, anything is possible. So with that, everyone, have a great day. Be safe, everyone. Be careful. Have an awesome, awesome uh, day. And I will see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.